So I met Jamie probably 2008. Yeah, in 2008. Um, we uh, crossed paths when I was working at a, uh, a studio. Uh, I was head sound engineer at a studio in Wangara, which doesn't exist anymore uh, for very good reason. There were some very dodgy dealings with the owner of that place. So I left that place, I jumped ship, and I started my own little studio here, Scudley Records, and I've been here ever since 2010. Um, but yeah, the point is, Jamie and I met back in 2008. We were, we were trying to organise to record together at that studio. Uh, it never happened. And then a few years later, we uh, hooked up again on Facebook, um, uh, just through the traps. We found each other again and tried to organise something again, but it didn't really work out. It wasn't until 2019, actually, that we finally managed to uh, just sort of record together. So he came to my studio and I recorded one of his songs called Tonight We Sail. And again, it was just, it reminded me of just how amazing this guy's voice is from when I first heard it 10 years earlier. And I just thought, I want to work with this guy. So anyway, we ended up doing that song live. Uh, this is just a one-off little show of that song for a, uh, a song competition in 2019. And then after that, I said to him, look, mate, um, we've got to do this again. We can't just leave it as a one-off. This is too good. I, I work with you too easily. You're, just, you're easy to work with you. You've got an amazing voice. I'm going to be in touch soon uh, with a project I've got in mind. And, and I left it at that. At that time, I didn't even know what it was. <laughs> I just knew I had to get this guy uh, involved in something I was doing. And I didn't know what it was yet, but it was going to happen. And it, it was just, yeah, it was exciting. I was really excited. So I finally thought of an idea. And that idea has become Parallax. Essentially, it's pretty straightforward. I'm just producing the music. Uh, using electronic elements and uh, real instrument elements together. So not, not a new idea, but it's something that I've, I've tried to make fairly abstract and unique. And then I just throw the song his way. He works out a melody and lyrics, sends it back to me in a little demo, and I inevitably get goosebumps from what I'm hearing because he's just a master at this. And then um, I get him in to record, I put it together, send it back to him, and then we get excited like it's the first time I've ever written a song. It, it feels like that. It's just, it's such a cool feeling to be able to write a song and collaborate with someone who's on the same page stylistically, um, but also just they they know uh, they've got the same sort of feel in their songwriting, or the same approach rather, same approach to the songwriting um, that, that I would have had had I tried doing lyrics to it. The problem is I would not have come close to what uh, Jamie's doing with lyrics. He's just... Yeah, it's so, so good. I thought a cool little uh, point of difference from other artists is to release this music, not just as music, but as visual, like as music videos, essentially. But they get released as music videos. You don't really get these on an album. You don't get them as singles. You get the song for the first time as a official music video, um, which I, I produce and, and we create the concept ourselves and go out and shoot it with the cast on location, uh, rarely featuring us. We're not going to be very sort of weird to say, but we're not going to be featured in this band much um, on a visual point of view because, I mean, there might be some background elements. We might, we might sort of jump in the background of some shots in some videos. But the plan is to essentially just produce original music videos, each with their own theme to suit whatever the song is singing about, sounding like, the tone of it. Um, so each song will be sort of uh, tailored have its own music video tailored for it and then we release the song with that video so no one gets to hear the song until the video is released with it so i thought that was a pretty cool idea we may even have already toyed with the idea with jamie of releasing these songs as a package um, as an album so to speak but at a cinema so each clip is played back to back at a cinema and that's our album launch our video launch album launch you know so that, that, that's pretty cool um, and you know, it was exciting when I first did that with my own feature film, Anticipation, and I had it shown at a cinema. And just the buzz from that, it's not just because you're in a cinema, but because the sound system and, and the, the, the video is just, it's huge. Everything is huge. Everything's just on a next level, size-wise, sonically, visually, everything's wicked. So I thought it'd be cool to do that with Parallax. So you'll hear some of the songs we do um, are very unusual, uh, sonically, I've used some really strange sort of trashy elements, uh, but mixed in with some really quite nice, gentle live instruments in the same song. And and they're just kind of, they're, so far, 
<laughs> touch wood. They go to really well. They go to together really well. And his voice just just ties everything together so nicely. So it's a really exciting project to be part of. And just to know that essentially it's been 12 years in the making because I knew I wanted to work with this guy for 12 years. And it's finally come together into a project that had we got together 12 years ago, it wouldn't have happened because I wasn't really into film back then. That only happened since 2017. So it's kind of good that we kept putting it off and putting it off. Now I'm in a point where I've I've got just this this hunger for filming and 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 creating visuals and really exciting visuals too. Like I started experimenting with special effects. Um, so I've created the first video from our first single, and the single is going to be called Focal. So this one here is going to feature some elements in there, um, some experimental visual effects, well uh, special effects rather, um, and it's just going to be essentially me trying to show what I can do with visuals and uh, and really try to, um, I suppose, heighten the audio experience from people listening to the song by having the video accompany it and hopefully make both the video and the audio just sort of raised a little bit as far as the experience goes um, when they're together. Like if you heard the song by itself or you just saw the video by itself with no audio. I mean, the, the, the shots are nice and the song is, I, I think, is pretty bloody cool. But when you hear them and see them together, it's just so cool. And that's the idea behind Parallax, is we want to have this project as an audio and visual experience. Not just, we're not just a band, you know, we're, we're kind of a production. So we have our audio elements, which is where the Jamie shines, and the video elements, which is where I like to hope that I shine and I can show what I can do. I've shown this to you know your typical your family and friends of course and but I've also showed it to some industry professionals so I've showed it to some leading directors I've showed it to an amazing international VFX artist um, just to get their feeling on it and both have come back pretty gobsmacked which is really exciting <laughs> because I don't know what I'm doing um, a lot of this has been experimental so there's a certain shot I wanted to achieve how do I make that happen so I didn't really I don't know the shortcut I don't, I don't know the shorthand for how you make someone who is playing sort of split screen from themselves, so there's two people on the same screen, both the same person, how do you make one of them throw a bottle to the other and the other one catches it? And the bottle has to be a real bottle, it's not a fake digital bottle, it's the real thing. So I found a way to do that and I showed them this and they couldn't figure it out. Um, I had some guesses, like they were saying, oh, could it be a green screen? Could it be just a thousand shots you took and hoped that one of them would match somehow? Uh, is the bottle fake? Is the, is the hand fake, just all that sort of stuff. No one could get it. I want to show off with these videos. That, that's the, the nuts and bolts of it. I want to show off what I can do, what my camera can do. This amazing camera I've got from Blackmagic Designs, the Ursa Mini G2. They've been amazing at Blackmagic with this, actually. Um, so it, it's just given me freedom to do some amazing, amazingly creative stuff. So this is going to be a really exciting project. Parallax with myself and Mr. Jamie Seinmeyer on vocals. Me on backing vocals and producing, producing the music, but also just the video is where I'm really excited about. I'm really excited about getting the visuals and I want to really hope to achieve the visuals and the audio connection. So you know the song belongs to that video. You know the video belongs to that song. They were made for each other <laughs> in a corny way. But if it does come across that way, then we're under something. And, um, and it's just really exciting to be excited about music and video like that. Like, I haven't been for a long time. I've been in the music scene, well, the music creating and, and producing for ages. But this feels new. This feels exciting. This was fresh. This was original. This feels just, yeah, it's like I'm, I'm really passionate about. So 2021 is going to be the year we finally released Parallax. And our first single, Focal, will be released in January. 2021. So if you're watching this before then, keep an eye out. If you're seeing this after it's been released, hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> There's more to come. <laughs>